hello 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 everyone welcome back to my channel and what is going to be technically my last haul video of 2022 even though i currently have some items in transit like on their way to me now that were essentially purchases of 2022 this is going to be the last haul video filmed in 2022 because i'm actually filming this on new year's day cannot believe that it is going to be 2023 tomorrow it is insane i can't believe that christmas has been and gone i can't believe that this entire year has been and gone it is absolute madness <laughs> but anyway <laughs> we are here to have a look at some planner goodies um i have quite a few things here um i think a lot of them bar maybe one uh stores that i purchased from before so they are favorites um but excitingly i do also have my 2023 planner here which i'm so excited to share with you guys i did sneak peek i did open it i did have a look at the cover but i haven't gone into it in too much detail um so i'll do that with you guys once we get to that so i guess without further ado we'll get into it if you want to by all means pause the video here go and grab a snack grab a drink grab a coffee whatever you may like and then come back get cozy and let's have a look at some awesome stickers okay so in no particular order i'm just going to grab from my pile and we'll go through things as they are in my little stack beside me the first order that i have to share with you guys is an order from planet goddess studio for anyone who does not know, Planet Goddess Studio is an Australian-based store. I cannot tell you the variety of kits that Vicky has available for purchase. There are, you know, all of the different pop culture kits. There are traditional kits. There are kits for things that you wouldn't even think of. There's memorial-type kits. There's, um, honestly, yeah, like, I can't even tell you. There is just, there are a lot of kits. She also does like icons and doodles and character stickers. Um, I think she still has some overlay tapes available. I'm not sure, uh, but she's absolutely amazing. Her paper is buttery smooth, is absolutely beautiful. Her processing time is quite quick as is her shipping time. And I have adored her store since she first opened. Um, so super excited to get this order. It's not a big order, but when I saw these items, I knew that I had to have them. So in terms of our freebies, firstly, we have this cute little die cut sticker, which says on the naughty list and I regret nothing. And it's a cute little cat with some reindeer ears wrapped in fairy lights. Very, very cute. And then there's also this little December or Christmas freebie. And you've got a combination here of some character stickers, some icons with, I guess you would call these scripts. They're not like your standard scripts, but, you know, um, you've got a little gift tag here. You've got a variation of different scripts. So very, very fun. If you still need to go back and plan Christmas like me, <laughs> these are very, very handy. Although by the time you see this video, this freebie will likely have gone, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, very, very cute. And then you also get a cute little postcard. So this one just has little free library. So this is one of those little book nooks or book libraries that you see usually in like rural or country type areas where people can go and like leave books, borrow books, that sort of thing. So very, very cute idea. Very, very cute postcard. And then it just has a little thank you with her socials on the back and all of that very very cute okay so into my little order here um i think i might have gotten an extra freebie yeah i don't know if that was accidental but she's also given me this sheet here of one of the recently released kits so this is the gnome library kit and essentially the whole kit is themed around these cute little like reading gnomes very very cute the pastel colors are amazing i got a little weekend sticky here some scripts characters and an icon although no this would make sense that it's like a freebie unless it's part of a mini kit i'm not sure vicky if you watch this did you chuck this in accidentally let me know <laughs> either way love that and into my actual order, you guys, I was so incredibly excited to get this particular kit. Can we just appreciate absolutely everything about this kit? The colors, the like zoo theme. I 
like there are honestly no words for how beautiful this kit is when i saw it come out the colors alone i was like i have to have that i love bright colors it's very up my alley in terms of like color scheme but then i also thought in my head i have been on two occasions in the last five years three occasions i have gone to like a wildlife lodge or like a zoo or whatever and i've never had a kit to accurately reflect that so i always end up using just like a generic themed kit for the month or the season and when i saw this i was like i don't know if or when i'm going back to a wildlife lodge or a zoo but this is the kit that i will use if and when i do the best part of the kit for me my favorite animals are tigers so there are two tiger boxes so that makes me really really happy essentially there's three tiger boxes so winning um but just everything like i can't honestly i no words um so this is your first page so these are your full boxes you have some functional items down the bottom there you then have your washi page so some very beautiful washi your date headers you have an extra full box here should you wish to swap that out for one of the tigers if you maybe don't like tigers or you want to switch it out for another animal you can absolutely do that now i have the hiccups fantastic perfect for filming a haul you have your checklist page you have a little weekly tracker here and some more functional boxes which is great because anyone who knows me or who has been watching my channel for a while knows that there can never be too many boxes you have some habit trackers up the top and some more boxes this pink like i just living You then have your glitter headers, you have some scallops, you have some mini checklists, some scripts, some date dots, and then again, you do have another um, full box there if you wanted to use that. This, oh, I'm so annoyed that I've already planned. There was one particular week that Hubby and I went to the zoo, but it was like a light show, and one of the, it was like a, there was a whale, like glitter, this would have been perfect. But anyway, so many boxes, as you can see, both functional and decorative. So you can really change this up and make it reflect you as a person, which is really fun. You then have your little headers and some more functional boxes. And then I think I actually picked up, yeah. So I picked up an extra box page just in case, because you never know. Worst case scenario, you de-stash it, you put it in your leftovers collection and get on with it. But absolute best case, you've got extra boxes to go along with um oh okay apparently i ordered this box twice as well uh, this page twice well i will definitely have enough boxes now <laughs> but anyway those two last pages or duplicate pages aside we're back to the beginning love 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 this kit okay so that next kit that i have here to show you is actually the vengeance kit i i this kit off for a little while my husband is a huge batman fan like that's his like superhero of choice um and when i purchased this kit i still hadn't actually purchased a kit for my husband's birthday week as you guys know i generally do like a husband plan with me video which you haven't seen on my channel this year i may still get him to do it i may not just because of how behind i am we will see um and I wanted to pick this kit up. Originally, I was going to get it from SPC, but because I left myself absolutely no time and I'm so incredibly behind and it's been such a crazy month, um, I didn't actually catch up on all the spreads that I wanted to. And I decided that it would be easier to purchase from an Australian seller because they would get it to me a lot quicker. So that is what I've done. And I'm so, so glad because this kit is absolutely stunning. Um, my husband wasn't a fan of the new Batman film i think because it strayed so far away from like the traditional batman as we know him and it was kind of a lot darker than the traditional batman uh but it's batman so that's what i've gone with i don't know what i'm going to use next year i feel like there is such a shortage of art and available options for like male or like masculine type kits in the planner community i feel like no one brings out art for them therefore kits can't be made there's kits that aren't made you know, like, I just, I feel like there's some sort of, like, a gap there. So if anyone who runs a planner store is watching and you wanted to start producing kits that were more masculine or, like, male birthday, please, please do that. I do happen to know that Vicky has, like, a his birthday themed kit in store. 
Um, so that is fantastic. I have used that before, but I may get into a situation where I need to use it again at some point just because there is such a shortage of the art. But alas, um, this is the kit that I'll be using. So again, this is the same format. Uh, very, I like the colors. Like I like the combination of the black with the red and the yellow. Very, very fun. It's kind of cute that there's like a little mini Batman there. I mean, I guess given the amount of limited art, you could probably repurchase kits that you've used like years ago and just recycle them. I don't know. Okay, so then we move on to our washi page. We have the other full box down the bottom here, our date headers or our date covers. Our checklist page. Our full boxes, our full boxes, no, our half and quarter boxes, habit trackers. We again, for the purposes of using it as a birthday kit, you actually, you actually have a box with a cake. You have your glitter headers. You've got the different types of Batman, which I will definitely keep because I'm sure at some point we will watch Batman for the 1035th time. Um, you have, again, your scripts, your date dots, your little headers, some quarter boxes, and then I've done the same again. So I bought another page of boxes and another page of the headers and the boxes. So stocked myself up just to be sure, but very, very fun kit. Love that. And that is actually my order in its entirety from Planet Goddess Studio. As always, I will link all of the stores below in the description if you want to go ahead and check them out. Okay, so the next order that I have to show you here is actually my mystery kit from SPC. So this is the December mystery for 2022. I do not know if I'm up to date like I don't remember what the last mystery kit was that I purchased also I just realized I didn't do a spoiler like warning so I do apologize if you have seen this kit but I feel like most of the time people want to see the mystery kit before they get it anyway if not I do sincerely apologize but in my head I was just like it's almost January people will have well and truly seen this by now anywho December mystery SPC absolutely adore this kit don't know when i'm going to use it but it is so incredibly cute definitely gives me spring vibes or like mother's day type vibes i'm not sure i love the fashion girls i love the like country estate just love 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 i love the green i love the pink i just actually really love this kit which is interesting because obviously with mystery kits you never know it can be a hit and miss but this one really really love um, so these are your full boxes. I love the little book there. I definitely need to do some more reading in 2023. I feel like I say that every year. I think my goal for 2022 was to read a total of 12 books and I finished a total of four books, one of which I'd actually half read in 2021. And then going into 2023, I'm basically like 98% through one book. So technically that book, once I finish it, will be finished in 2023. But technically also doesn't count so yeah I need to set a new reading goal for 2023 and I actually want to meet it this year that would be nice but back to the kit <laughs> um those are your full boxes and then we go ahead and we get into like our functional type items so we've got our weekly trackers our checklists some page flags deco pieces and weekend banner really really enjoy these colors together like the peach with the pink and then like the sage green and like the more olive green very very pretty you then have your glitter headers you have some layering items movie marquees habit trackers and two additional options for full box selections you have some functional boxes here so as always you have some half boxes third boxes quarter boxes you have some squared boxes and you have these little like tic tac box items I don't know how people use these because to me they kind of seem like a waste of space but I know that some people quite enjoy using those. Let me know if you are one of those people below and how you use them because I'm very very curious. We then have the little thing page where you've kind of got like your appointment label size items and then your actual little things both patterned and plain. 
you have your fancy labels, third boxes, squared off half boxes and third boxes. I think I just said that. And then you've got some washi pieces that you can bring in functionally as well. I need to start thinking about how I'm going to change up my spreads because I feel like every new year I kind of change up like my the way that I lay out my sidebar and stuff. So I need to really think about how I'm going to do that for 2023. Um, again, we have the same page but with the pattern boxes, which are absolutely gorgeous. I love every single one of them. You then you have your pre-split washi, which is amazing. It makes my life so much easier when I'm planning your date headers and again you also have another full box there that you can switch out if you'd like. We have some doodles which is very very handy particularly as a memory planner to have those items there you can pull from those first before you pull from your character stickers which is what I like to do. I'm gonna sneeze and then you also have the add-in like you have the peach color by itself so if you wanted to like bring that in throughout the spread as well you've got that option. You then also have some more functional type items for use as well. And then, as always, we also then have the tall sidebar box if you wish to use it, the alternate skin tone and hair colors for your fashion girls, and an extra full box option. So that is quite fun. And then we move on to the foil that came with this mystery kit. So this is a gold, I think. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is a, is it a twinkle or is it a confetti? I actually don't know now. I'm questioning myself. Either way, gold, beautiful, absolutely love this. Cannot wait to use this kit and this foil combination. As always, we have two of the same um, like decorative sheets for your full boxes. You then, of course, get the bougie boxes as well in the gold. I don't know if it's picking up quite overcast today you get two of those to ensure that you have enough for your entire spread then we move on to our foiled icons and scripts and then we have our date dots some more like glitter header like overlays and some washi deco as well I really don't like the font of these I feel like I say that every time but I really don't but this is like my favorite foil bottom washi combination. And there you have it. The December, December, December mystery kit 2022 SPC. Okay, so up next I do have another mystery kit. This is the mystery kit, I think, November mystery kit for Planner Face. So if you haven't seen it yet, if you don't want to see it yet, please Unlike the SPC one, I'm giving you the opportunity to click away and or fast forward. But here we go. So this is the November mystery from, I'm pretty sure it's the November mystery. I could be wrong. Um, but this is an absolutely gorgeous kit. I'm so glad that I got it. I don't always get the mystery kits from Planet Face. I kind of like look at the sneak peek clip art and then like choose accordingly. I feel like I probably need to unsubscribe from SPC. I've been saying that for the longest time and like subscribe to Planet Face instead because more often than not, I like the Planet Face mystery kits more than I like the SPC ones. We'll see what happens. Uh, but with the Planet Face mysteries, you do get the, well, I think this might be the last or December might be the last, but I do believe that Ada is actually discontinuing the postcards due to some issues she's been having. Um, but this one did come with a postcard. This is one option here. She's absolutely beautiful. You can see like the spa in the background. She's got like a tea. I can only imagine it's like a green tea or something like that in her cup or like a chamomile tea. Very, very, she looks so happy, very relaxed. Love that. And then of course you always have the alternate option on the back as well. So you've got this gorgeous girl. She, it kind of looks like she's on her phone. I'd say she's not, but it kind of looks that way. And she's kind of just chilling with a robe on. Again, you've got like a pool scene in the background, the beautiful like leafy greens. Love, love, love that. And then, of course, we move into the kit itself. So here you have it. It is a very calming spa pamper day retreat type options. And I'm all about it because there's actually a place 
for the longest time I've wanted to go to like do like a float tank session and there's actually somewhere like 20 minutes from me now that actually does those I don't know when I'm gonna go I don't know who I'm gonna go with because I kind of feel weird going by myself I know that sounds stupid but I kind of want to go with somebody um and I think I'm going to save this kit for when I actually get around to doing that because it is absolutely perfect and the colors the blues with the greens the leafiness the wood tones like I just this kit is absolutely amazing so these this is your full box variation you've got some like handcrafted soap there by the looks of it like a spa slash pool massage tables some green tea I really really love this kit Okay, so we've then got our deco pieces, our date headers, we can manner. You've got another option there for your full boxes, some cucumber water, your uh, habit trackers and your weekly trackers. You have your half boxes, quarter boxes, some checklists and some page flags. Some glitter headers, some fancy labels, some third boxes and some littles. Some icons up the top there, which are my favorite because, again, I do like to use as many of those as I possibly can. You then have some, like, third box third box fancy labels. I don't know what they're called, but they're, like, the fancy box, only they're, like, third box size. You have some squared off boxes, some paint swatches, some long page flags, and some rounded off third boxes there as well. You have your bottom washi absolutely beautiful and perfectly done so that you could split it completely in half and you wouldn't lose any of the pattern. And then you've got the thin like water vibes, like pool vibe thin washi, which I always love to use. And then you've got some appointment labels down the bottom here and some washi strips as well, as well as another option for your full boxes. Let's put those to the side for a second. We then have some more of those third box fancy labels, some more little things, some squared off third boxes, some patterned little things, and then some like half glitter headers. I guess those could be fun to use in the sidebar to take up a little bit less space, but to still kind of decorate it. And then there is, of course, the glitter add-on. So you have your quarter boxes, some appointment labels, some more of the third boxes, some half boxes, and then your glitter headers. I will always forever love this glitter header option over the SPC glitter. I don't know why. I just like the, like, chunkiness of it. And I feel like with this, you can actually tell that it's glitter, whereas with SPC, it kind of looks more like white noise almost. Anyway, um... <laughs> We then have, yet again, another full box scene, so you can use the double box should you wish to. You have some scripts, you have some more icons, some like paint splodges or like paint swatches. You have some appointment labels, movie marquee and some squared off boxes. And then we are back to the start. But of course, we then also have the extras. So I don't think that she meant to do this. But I did actually get two of the washi strips. So if anyone does need a washi strip or wants one of these, let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably keep it and see if I could utilize it with another kit down the track because you can never have too many of these. But um, thanks, Anna. <laughs> um, and then you have another quarter box there as well. And then like always with Anna's kits, you do get the – there's like a tall box. So this isn't like the equivalent of like two – regular boxes this is more kind of like a full box and like it's like a box and a half um, but she's absolutely beautiful I will definitely be using her in my sidebar and then you get the alternate skin and hair tone options if you wish to use those as well so that is my order or mystery from planner phase for November again I think it was November don't quote me. side note it was November I didn't even think to look at the pack it is the November kit okay so whilst we are doing planify, planify. Okay. So whilst we are doing, or on the topic of planner face, because that was my mystery kit, I do actually also have an order here from Anna that I will go through with you guys. Okay. So first and foremost, the first two items that I will share with you are notepads or like stationary type items. 
So the first item that I have to show you is this cute little notepad here. This is in like the planner face like branding color scheme. I had wanted something like this for quite a while. I actually eyed off buying a planner so that I could have this kind of functionality and I put it off and put it off and put it off. And then I figured that the type of person that I am, when I do things on a daily basis, they kind of like I make a checklist in my brain or in my head and I kind of like mentally tick things off. And I figured that it was probably no point like pre-planning things like cleaning things or like certain things that you want to do on certain days. To me, it's kind of like there's no point pre-planning it because most of the time it changes, at least for me anyway. Like if I know down in a planner, like on Wednesday, I'm going to mop the floors, for example, there's every chance that I don't do it on, my, uh, on Wednesday and I do it on like Sunday or something like that. So I figured if I had something like this, I could sit it at my work desk. I could make a list of the things that I want to do in that day. I can prioritize them based on like must do, could do tomorrow. And then I can kind of allocate it that way. So that way I can make a checklist of what I want to do. I might not necessarily do it all, but then like worst case, I throw that page away and I carry over to the next day. So I just thought that this would be really handy. It's also very cute. Um, so again, like I kind of just touched on, it is like a day by day checklist. You have an option here to write down like a list of things that you want to do. You could obviously put like timestamps on it if you wanted to make it like a timeline and then you can prioritize or categorize things you want done more urgently or things that you need to do the following day, things that you could do today, but maybe you need to get through these things first and then those are kind of like a backup um, and then those are like your top priorities for the day. So I thought that that was really cute. I don't actually know how many pages are in this um, but I believe at least when I last looked at these were still available in store so if you are interested definitely go and check out planner face for one of these and then the next one that I have purchased is the new planning notes notepad um, I've actually been using one of these for the past 12 months now um, this is my new one of course the one that I had before this was the one and only variation of the notepad that Anna had in store whereas now I believe she has three I think she has the original one she has this one and then she has like a more subtle like peachy pinky blue type one um, but this one had a lot of pink so again very up my alley you can see that I put lines there not necessary I've just done that because I cannot for the life of me write straight so I just thought that that would help kind of make it neat or keep it neat uh, but as you can see very very practical um, I'm not the greatest because it is currently the 31st and as you can see I haven't filled out the two previous days I'm terrible with this I need to be better with it but it is very very handy for you to like jot down what you've done each day you can even put like the week up here if you want I choose to put like the day at the top you can put like your foil pairing or like what kit that you wanted to use in here so if you don't necessarily keep your kit in like a kit album you can put like what kit and foil option you're going to have in the top here and then in the sidebar you've got the option to have like you've got a weekly tracker here so if you want to track your meals for the week um, if you want to track like certain things that you want to do on certain days at a glance you can do that and then you've got two habit trackers there that you can utilize so very very handy in an ideal situation when I'm using this to the best of its ability, I do have all of my days filled out. I have generally been using this to track the TV show that I've been watching personally because my husband and I do watch shows together and then I generally watch something before bed. Um, so I will usually put like whatever show I'm watching and then like tick off the days that I actually watch it. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why I do that though because when it comes to marking it in my sidebar, I just put what show I was watching that week in the sidebar. So that may change in the new year. I don't know. Um, and then down the bottom, I don't really use it at the moment because I'm on holidays, but I was starting to track like the wax melt that I was using. Although again, I don't need to tick off each day. I can just put that down. So I don't know. I may need to be more functional about this. I might need to start putting a habit tracker in my spread moving forward. I don't know. We will see what happens. Um, but I wanted to share with this with you because they're very, very cute. And just so that you get an idea, this is what a blank page should look like without the lines. So really, really love these. Again, they are available in store. So if you are interested, definitely go and check those out. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so the next item that I'm going to show you is actually the Black Friday Cyber Monday freebies. So as always, when Anna has a sale, she does do tiered freebies. This particular time I did only spend, not that I spent that much, I spent a little bit more, but I only got the £75 plus freebies, which is more than enough to plan with. But usually I do spend a little bit more and I get like so many extra boxes that I can use usually use the kit twice but it's fine it is what it is so in terms of the freebie and how it is uh, how it is scaled i believe that everybody who ordered on black friday or cyber monday or throughout that weekend got this as a freebie sheet so it's just a cute little movie marquee page um i really really like these pattern ones at the bottom they are very very cute so that is like one of the freebies there uh, you also got this with all orders. So as you can see at the top there, it says that essentially anyone who placed an order during that weekend also got this as a freebie. So you have some functional boxes and two full boxes here, as well as some scripts. And then we get on to, I just want to make sure that they're separated in the correct order. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, all right, um, so then the first tier, so this was the £25 plus tiered freebie, so this is essentially just a functionals page, <coughs> excuse me, so you have some of your third box label items, some little things, some third box square labels or boxes, I can't speak, some pattern little things and some of the half cut glitter headers really really love the color palette then we move on to the 50 plus so 50 pound plus freebies so as you'll see there's definitely more than enough to make like a whole spread work but it would have been nice to have a little bit more because now i'm actually looking at it and i'm thinking maybe there's not enough so we, we might have to pull from our collection we'll see what happens anyway um, so 50 plus, so first things first, essentially a mini kit format. So you get some full boxes here. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seven boxes there, I usually like to have nine. So seven, eight, nine, perfect. So that's more than enough for what I need full box wise. You have a weekly tracker there. You have some of the mini checklist items. Again, really love this color palette. I love her like silver or gray hair. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very winter-esque. Definitely going straight into my lineup because I absolutely love this clip art. That big window, the fireplace. I wish I lived here. You then also get as part of the 50 plus freebie, you get the date headers. You get some more functional boxes glitter headers, some icons, some deco pieces, and another full box. So again, more than enough full boxes. And with these, there might just be enough for me. I apologize for that absolutely ignorant person. Anyway, um, there might be enough because I generally plan, this might change in the new year, don't know, it depends on the kit and the format, I guess. But I usually use glitter headers like three times down the page, so I should have enough actually, but we'll see. Um, and then the last one, yeah, I'll definitely have enough. I didn't even look at this previously, so I'll def I've definitely got enough to plan a full spread, so very, very happy with that. Um, so you've got a weekend banner, you have your split or pre-cut washi, as you can see, it's already in like the five millimeter split. And then you have some functional boxes. So you've got some half boxes, some appointment labels. You've got some, they're not really quarter boxes. They're kind of smaller than a quarter box in my opinion. And then you've actually got some quarter boxes there. Really love this pattern with the flex of gold. So that is the 50 plus. And then lastly, the 75 plus is the glitter add-on. So again, we've got some more functional boxes here. We've got the full set of glitter headers. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm definitely going to be able to use this kit the way that I normally would. Um, and then this one I think is just a freebie. So anyone who got the mini kit, I think you get this because these are your like hair and skin tone color variations. So 
love that i have a whole kit from doing a shop and spending some money at a store i effectively got a free kit which is always really really nice uh i did also get some functional items not a lot I, it's two of the same essentially um but i did pick up some more of these paint splodges for anyone who has watched my channel for a little while or the last little while, you will know that I love to use these in the top left hand corner of my page. Generally, I will use one or two of these depending on the kit and how I'm feeling. And I will layer some deco pieces over it. I will put my foiled scripting or my scripting in the top to mark out what like month we're in. But I really, really love using these and I'm almost out. Well, I'm not almost out. I think on one of my sheets, I only have like a purple and a blue. And then on another sheet, I have like all of the colors that I wouldn't generally use so it's like these these two lines because I'm always pulling for like the pinks and blues um so I picked up two of those love 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 them these are available in store if you want them for yourself and now I'm going to share with you the Cyber Monday mystery kit I do believe it's like off the website anymore so this isn't really a spoiler everybody probably knows what this looks like already um, if you haven't or you don't want to see this again, please pause, please skip ahead because I'm about to show it to you. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, this is your forewarning, I guess. Okay, so first things first, we do get a little die cut sticker. Super, super cute. Again, reading books, little flower, and there's like a wooden stump thing. Very, very cute. Which leads us to the main event. Isn't she absolutely beautiful? So this is the Cyber Monday mystery kit. I had actually forgotten that I picked this up until like two days ago when I was going through like my items to try and catch up on my spreads for 2022 because I've decided that I'm not going to film them all. I'm just going to put up the footage of the spreads that I've already done and then we're just going to jump straight into 2023. And I came across this, forgot I'd purchased it and I absolutely love it. There's just something about like the books, the lights, the colors. Like again, I do get very spring kind of vibes from this. You don't have to use it in spring. But like there's this kind of like treehouse, cubbyhouse vibes. You've got essentially what could be like an advent or gift where someone has like wrapped a bunch of books for you and you kind of open them as a lucky dip and read through them. You've got some coffee there. I just like love 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 the colors everything about this kit absolutely stunning um i didn't even read this treehouse book club before i like was like oh treehouse but <laughs> very on theme love this like again there are no words we then move on to our like a more functional page so you've got your date headers here you've got some washi some weekly trackers habit trackers some appointment labels you have an alternate full box option here with a little tea bag you have your half boxes quarter boxes page flags really really love the idea of like the typewriter print and the color scheme absolutely beautiful cat if you help with this amazing very very you Anna absolutely gorgeous I feel like as per always or as per usual <laughs> everything that you produce is just like chef's kiss um so here you have some more functional boxes some glitter headers some little things we have our icons our checklists we have some of the third off squared boxes and again some functional items down the bottom the same formats we've kind of seen before you have this beautiful like gingham or like tartan flannelette type washi. Again, there's a line there if you wanted to cut it down the middle and then you've got your thin washi strip. You've also then got the typewriter and the lights, which I will absolutely be using this box. It is absolutely stunning. You have some decorative washi and some more appointment labels down the bottom. Let's move our little freebies to the side for a second. Again, we have some more functionals. the double box tree house the only problem is as much as I love that if I used that it means I would have to sacrifice two of these boxes I mean essentially that would be one I don't know we'll see what happens um some scripts icons 
you've seen it. This is the same format as all of the standard mystery kits. Again, some more functional items, your full set of glitter headers. And then we are back to the beautiful start. And then again, like always, you get your washi add-on option, your alternate skin and hair color options, and then you have your like tall box variation as well. Very cute. Okay, so next I have three kits to go through. I'm going to skim through them pretty quickly just because I have a few other things to get through. And again, because they are plantar face, they are of the same like kit format. So the next kit that I wanted to share with you guys is Games Night. Very, very pretty kit. Um, I believe this was previously a mystery kit that was maybe offered last year or the year before. I'm not 100% sure. When I see this full box, I kind of like think of Anna. I don't know why that full box reminds me of Anna. But this is very like New Year's-esque for me. Like New Year's, my husband and I, we don't really go anywhere or do anything. We generally sit on our butts, play some board games, play Switch, hang out, get takeaway, that kind of thing. So this is very, very us. But it's also something that we kind of do just randomly, like on a weekend, we'll just decide to play some games. So I knew that I had to have this in my collection somewhere. Um, and again, the color is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to flip on through because we have seen the format before. This like tealy blue color is absolutely beautiful. I like the patterns. This like almost tie-dye vibe pattern. Very fun. Why is everyone, why is it on the day that I actually, usually I'll do like a voiceover. Why is it on a day that I actually need to do like in real time filming? Everyone is like revving their bikes, revving their cars and making so much noise. So annoying. So cute. The abstract patterns. Love it. And then, of course, again, we have our alternate hair and skin tone options and a little washi strip there. The next one that I have to show you was actually a Black Friday, Cyber Monday, like, exclusive. You could only get it if you purchased in that particular weekend, so you won't be able to find this kit in store. But this is Fairy Tale. I don't know when I'm going to use it. I don't know how I'm going to use it, but I am. And if not, I'm going to hoard it for all of eternity because it is absolutely stunning. The art, the colors, the castle, like just absolutely magical. This fashion girl with her like frilly sequined dress, her sequined shoes. Like I just love everything about this kit. And I knew that I had to have it regardless of if I ever used it or not. I knew that I just had to have it. So let's flip through this. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful crown here. I almost contemplated using this for the week that the queen passed away because of the crown. Like it was just kind of very magical, fairy tale, castle vibes, royalty. But I ended up ordering another kit in October, which I am still waiting for on the last day of the year. So, yeah. Um, but this is really, really pretty. This like yellowy kind of greeny color is really pretty. And I think it just brings like a nice pop of color to the kit, as does the blue, of course. But we'll flick on through the floral box pattern there. Oh, love. So pretty. I, I've been thinking inspiration from uh, Peace Love Plant or Cat, as you may know her. I really feel like moving into 2023, I need to be more mindful of the kits I use. When I say more mindful, I just mean like when I use a kit, I want it to be more reflective of what I've done in that week. So like, for example, I really want to go to the beach next week. So I would obviously want to use a beach kit next week. 
and not just use like a standard summer kit or like I don't want to use a beach kit on a week that I don't go to the beach if that makes sense so I really want to be more mindful of using kits that reflect like an activity or something that's happened in that week um, we will see what happens because sometimes I do get behind and I kind of end up just having to pull something from my collection but ideally the goal is to plan or back plan based on the main event or you know something that I've done on the weekend for that particular week so let's see what happens you guys um, again we have our alternative skin and hair tone options very very pretty and then you have this absolutely gorgeous bottom washi add-on love that okay and last but not least the last kit that I picked up from Planet Face uh, again also an exclusive kit that you could only pick up on the weekend of Black Friday Cyber Monday this is this beautiful kit this one is called celebration this kit did come in two variations you could either get it with a happy birthday option or you could get it with a happy new year's option and I already had my new year's kit picked out so I figured it was only appropriate to pick up the happy birthday variation very happy that I did because it's pink pink is my favorite color so this is probably very likely going to be my birthday kit for this year we will see what happens if not I will definitely use it to mark somebody's birthday in 2023 uh, but absolutely stunning kit, very like a high tea, like you've got your cheese board there, cake, champagne or Prosecco or whatever it may be. You've then got some little cakes here. You've got the gorgeous fashion girls and their shiny, shiny hair. They look like they're fresh out of a Pantene commercial. And I just love this like magenta pink. Like I love all of the colors together, but the magenta pink, stunning. Okay. And then as you can see, this kind of like fireworks element, very New Year's. You've got some deco pieces. I just love everything about it. Like as soon as I saw this kit, I was like, again, have to have it. I'm pretty sure I purchased that weekend to pick up this kit and the fairy tale kit. And then I was like, I need the Cyber Monday mystery kit as well. So I don't remember if I ordered on the one day and picked up all of them or if I did two orders. I, I can't be sure. But again, the color combination together, love that. I love the like peachy orange with like the deep pinks and reds. Also, I didn't think to even say it earlier, but if you can hear like a weird noise in the background or if my voice kind of sounds like broken up, I actually have my fan on behind me because it is really humid upstairs where I'm filming. And I couldn't live sitting here for like two hours filming this without it. So apologies. Here is the beautiful bottom washi. You've got some moe, some roses. Very, very pretty. Again, like you can't get past this color palette. Absolutely beautiful. And then again, we are at that point where we have our freebies. So you've got your alternate hair and skin tone options for both of the original fashion girls you then also have a like toolbox variety I love this dress and the color of this dress I guess if you remove the double box you probably have enough boxes if you got rid of that and then you used that one instead do we have another one I don't know if I saw Yes, so you could almost sub out the happy birthday, bring in this one, and then bring in this one, and you could make it a wedding kit or like a bridal party kit, something like that. There's a thought for anyone who might be looking for a kit who purchased this and doesn't really know what they're going to use it for. Um, and then, of course, we have the bottom washi add-on as well. Okay, and then finally, I did pick up some doodles from Anna as well. There's just a couple of pages here. So I topped up on my, like, computer stickers. I just love these. They remind me of, like, primary school when we got the first ever Mac computers. And I use these quite a lot, so I picked up another sheet of those. I also use these quite a lot, but I kind of want to mark less chores in 2023 and more like memory type things. Like rather than filling space with like, I did the laundry, like I want to be like, read a book or played a game or did something more valuable or more memory 
memory like I don't know I don't know if that makes sense but I feel like a lot of the time in my planner because my work Monday to Friday is like I just work and then I like log off from work and don't really do anything I tend to kind of have to fill the space with like chores and I hate that so I did buy these but I did buy them a little while ago so maybe I won't need to use them but we'll see um, I also purchased some Christmas trees. I didn't actually get to use them yet or I haven't used them yet. I did, um, I'm yet to finish my Christmas spreads for 2022, so I may use them, but I thought that they were handy to have. I also then picked up some Christmas doodles. Again, they're not very Australian in that they're very sort of cold weather targeted, but again, I knew I needed to have them. A lot of the time, the Christmas kits that I use are very sort of wintry anyway. I'm kind of living vicariously through my spreads. So I thought it would be really cute to have these, again, to mark down, like counting down to Christmas, to mark like Christmassy things, you know, like watching Christmas movies or listening to Christmas music. I don't know. Um, and then I picked, so I picked this up in the traditional palette and then I also picked it up in like the pink palette. So same art, just pink variety instead of red. And that is it. So that was my order from Pike. So the next order that I have to show you is from Caress Press. And I'm kind of sensing a theme here a little bit. Because <laughs> this is the first kit that I have to share with you. I saw this announced or like on Instagram and I don't know whether it was the pink or what it was but I was absolutely drawn to this kit and again it is very self-love pampery like take care of yourself themed so I'm kind of sensing that in like 2023 I want and or need to take care of myself because like sublimin subliminally my mind is like drawing me to these kind of self-care kits but of course the pink definitely helps so you will see here that nothing is happening for this week but self-love. You've got some beautiful, like, I think, grapefruit water, some little sandwiches. You've got some face masks. You've got some candles. You've got a bath. You've got, like, some face items. Very, very pretty. And this is in a glossy, if I didn't, I didn't say that already, right? You then have a functionals page with some headers. And again, I don't know if I said it, but this is called, this actual kit is called Self Love. I don't know if it's available in store still, because again, I did pick this up quite some time ago, just that I haven't hauled it until now. You have the same sheet again, but with the patterned variety. So again, plenty of boxes to utilize for planning purposes. You have some little things, some appointment labels and your glitter headers. Again, the colorway of this kit, like the pink with the peach, the olive green and like the taupey kind of browny gray color. So pretty. You have another full box option, some work labels. You've got some icons, some functional tracking items. Some more little things. weekly checklists which I never use another full box your bottom washi some date dots date headers your deco pieces some squared off boxes page flags and your weekend banner and then we are back to the start however I did also pick up some extras with this kit um, so I think this one came extra like on its own because it's the um, alternate skin tones but I did then pick up the brunette girl to go with the kit as well as the like tall box as well because again you can never have too many boxes you have such a huge variety there and then I also picked up the pink variation you could get this in the pink or the peach color and I picked up the pink so that is the first kit that I picked up from Chris. Okay, so the next kit that I have to share with you guys is this beautiful kit. This is Holly Jolly. I knew that I had to own this art. I don't know when I will use it because in my head, this is one of those kits that I am saving for my first Christmas with a child. It hasn't happened yet, unfortunately. Um, but this kind of just 
I don't know, in my head, I associate having my first child with my husband, our first Christmas together as a family, and being very traditional, like the warm white lights, the red, green, gold decorations, just having a really big event. And I think that I will be keeping this until that time. But I did see this art in so many different stores. And I did like the caress press variation the most. So naturally, I had to pick that up before it sold out. There's just something about this kit. I don't know what it is. Again, it's very wintry. We in Australia don't drink hot chocolate because it is summer, but I couldn't surpass this. Like I just, I had to have it. So again, we would just flick on through because it is going to be the same format as the previous, but like, hello, these full boxes, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> hot chocolate, that's very cute. I don't necessarily know about the brown color. I mean, technically it's kind of like the wood tones, the cozy vibes, I don't know, but. And then here you just have like Christmas, like this is just Christmas, just here. Forget everything else, Christmas is here. <laughs> Very me, coffee, first thing Christmas morning, before I started cooking lunch for everyone, coffee. very very cute again the pajamas one day I'm going to force my husband to dress in the same pajamas as myself and our future child so perfect and then you have the like tartan flannelette washi down the bottom your cutesy deco pieces and then we are back to the start and then again like always there was some add-ons so I picked up the green washi add-on. I picked up the brunette tall box because I am, of course, a brunette for anyone who did not know. Someone's car just backfired. I've then picked up the brunette like mum and dad because my husband's not really blonde, but he's not this dark either. He's kind of like in the middle. I would classify him as a brunette, but he's more like that sort of sandy brown, mousy blonde color so there's never really a match for him so this is kind of the closest um, and then again I have brown hair I picked up of course the baby options I'm not necessarily this baby kind of freaks me out a little bit I would probably use this baby but again wanted to have that and then I think these were just extra boxes that came with the kit so that is holy okay job. and then the last kit that I picked up from caress press was this kit. This is a theatre. I believe it's still available in store at the moment. Um, but I did actually pick this up for a week in my 2022 planner that I haven't planned out yet, which is the week that my husband and I went to Moulin Rouge, the musical. And when I saw this kit, I knew that I wanted to use it. I was originally going to pick up the SPC variation because there was the option to get the added full box that actually said Moulin Rouge on it. Um, but those add-ons were removed in shop before I could get my hands on them. So unfortunately I don't have that. I'm just going to have to make do, although there is a little more on Rouge thing there. So that might have to do. Um, but I thought that this was really fun again, being a bit more purposeful about the kits that I'm using. And when I saw this, I was like, perfect theater. We went to the theater. Let's use this. So these are your full boxes here. And again, I'm just going to flick through. Very, like, these are very New Year's colours to me too. Well, I guess glamorous, like classy, like you feel, I feel like, like navy, navy green, navy blue and gold are very kind of classy to me. You have the ballet slippers, I won't be using those. But caress, caress press kits are absolutely beautiful. I don't know why it took me so long to actually purchase from them. I'd seen so many people use caress press kits and I just never, I never committed. And then I don't even know what it was. I saw a particular kit and I was like, that's it, I need that kit. And then this is now my second order from them. I know that that's not a lot, but my first order, I think I only ordered two kits, whereas this time I've ordered three kits and there's a few like foiled items. So 
love the store now. Um, again, I did pick up the washi add-on. I picked up the red hair because, again, Moulin Rouge, anyone who's seen the actual TV show knows that Satine or Nicole Kidman has red hair, and I kind of figured that using that was kind of like my ode to Satine. And then I picked up the Tallbox variation as well. So that is the theatre kit from Caress Press, which, like I said, I think is still in store as of right now. I may be wrong, but I think okay. it is. So then I have also picked up in the foil. Let me get them together because I bought a few of them. So I also picked up the Jingle Bells variety. I'm not going to take it out and go through it because essentially it's the same format, just that it's a different pattern. So this is the Jingle Bells variety. I don't know how well you'll see it through like the plastic, but essentially you can see that this is also very Christmassy, just that it's not the mistletoe. You have like your candy cane, a gingerbread man, some holly, and then like some sparkles. And then you can see obviously here we've got some foil, uh, foil. We have some holly, we have a reindeer. This one we've got the gingerbread man and the present, whereas with the mistletoe, it's essentially all mistletoe. But this one is in a sparkly red. I feel like maybe I should have taken you through them. But this is getting very long, so I don't want you guys to have to sit here for too much longer. Um, I then picked up the sparkly gold variation. So again, also the Jingle Bells variety. I don't think I could get silver because I bought every option that I could, but there was no silver option. I think it was sold out because I also picked up just a plain gold as well. Don't know when I'll use them. I obviously don't want to use the same foil like three times in a row. So you may see these come out in some years time, but we have them. Um, I also then picked up the Sweet Dreams foil. I have this, I want to pair this with a particular kit again for when we eventually have our own child. Um, and I'd eyed it off before, but because my order was so expensive, I kind of just, I was like, I need to get the necessities. So that is what I did. And now that I did a second order, I thought it was only fitting that I picked this up. So I picked it up in the gold foil. Um, again, like I said, it is called Sweet Dreams. So it is very sort of like nursery, newborn baby vibes. There's like a little mobile, mobile, I don't know what you call them here. Some rainbows, you've got a teddy bear. You've got some little baby feet, little duck, some clouds. Very, very cute. Again, I feel like I probably could have opened it and gone through it, but I still have a whole box of things to get through plus my new planner. So let's just skip past. <laughs> and then I also picked up another one of these. I have previously picked up Daisy in like a fuchsia foil, but this one I've picked up kind of looks like a, I don't know whether it's meant to be a pink or a purple, Either way, really, really pretty, and it's just another variety to add on to a spring kit. Don't know if this is still available. I know that when I purchased this, this is the mini kit variety, so I think there was only mini kits available, so you may not be able to get it anymore. I'm not sure, but you can always take a look. No harm. And then lastly, I did forget to show you – well, no, I didn't forget. I didn't realize that I had them. Um, I did get some freebies with this order. So the first freebie that I got here is a gold, like a butterfly themed freebie. Um, I just said gold, right? Just a plain gold. And then down in the bottom, you've got some strips. So you've got spring equinox, first day of spring target run. I then also got a fall themed one, I guess you would say. You've got some like falling leaves. It is in a silver foil. And in the bottom left, you've got pumpkin patch, bonfire and apple picking. From that alone, I would definitely say it's a very autumn themed freebie. And then last but not least, there's like a foodie type freebie. So again, this is also in a silver foil. You've got like some sushi here, you've got a little teapot, chopsticks, some sashimi. And then down the bottom, you've got here sushi night, lunch date and Japanese takeout. So those were three of the freebies. And then the last freebie that I have here, I have some like glitter headers. So this is a silver foiled freebie. I have some glitter header overlays. I have some like sparkle decorative pieces, some quarter box overlays. I don't know how or when I would ever use those, but you never know. 
um, and then I have two full box overlays there. So happy with that because you never know when you need to pull in things from your kit. I'm always, I feel like I'm always looking for header overlays, so not going to plan, complain about that in the slightest. Okay, so the next order that I have to share with you is from an Australian store. So this order was from Fox and Cactus. I have not ordered from them in the longest time, mainly because at the very beginning of my planner career, I picked up so many Fox and Cactus items from like these sashes and I didn't need anything, but I'm getting to that point now where I'm low on certain things and there's some themed items that I wanted to get. So I did it. Um, in terms of the freebies, the first thing that I have to share with you is this cute but scary little postcard. So you have a little angry cat here or kitten by the looks of it, probably someone's Christmas gift by the looks. And the kitten is not very happy about being someone's Christmas gift. They actually have a sharpened candy cane in their possession. <laughs> so cute, but creepy at the same time. On the theme of cute, but creepy, we also then have these die cut Furby stickers. So I don't, it was very weird because when this order came in, I'd actually been t talking to a friend of mine because I'm very much a 90s child. I was born in the 80s, but I was essentially raised in the 90s. So Furbies were a big thing during that time. And my friend and I were actually, for some reason, talking about how creepy Furbies were and how they kind of had a mind of their own. And then this order arrived and boom, creepy Furbies with knives covered in blood. Again, cute, but creepy. This is my fave because obviously pink, sparkly pink, but I mean, we all know that I love hollow as well and it's like a rainbow Furby. I personally never owned a Furby myself, but one of my younger brothers did. He taught it to swear, you know, you know how it goes. Um, and then I also got the November 22 freebie. So it says, we think you're the bee's knees. You've got a little bee there looking in the mirror saying, I am beautiful. You have a little pizza that says, bite me. You've got a stabby like a bunny. Uh, a little cat in flames, and then you've got this little trio here of the very unhappy looking cat, the unicorn, and the fox. Very cute. Now, I don't remember if I purchased this. I feel like I probably didn't, so it may be a freebie. So if it is a freebie, Emma, if you happen to watch this or come across this video, thank you so much. If not, and I did order it, I don't know if I even kept the receipt, so no clue, but again, um, there is this washi tape. It has the murderous Furbies and like a purpley, sparkly pink kind of foil. I think I might be too close. I can't tell because of the blur. Oh no, it's picking up. I was going to say, I can't really tell because of the blur on my, or the fingerprints on my camera. But that is very cute. I will have to use it at some point. I don't know when, but <laughs> I do love it. And then I have quite the fat stack of stickers to go through here. So let's just go through those as quickly as, I, as we can, because then the only other thing that I have to show you is my new planner. Okay, so here is the stack of goodies. So the first thing that I have here is the little guinea pig sheet. For anyone who doesn't know, I do have a guinea pig. I did have two, but unfortunately we lost one earlier on in the year. He was this kind of color. And then my current one is this color. And the cleaning and the amount of things that you need to do with them, I just thought it would be fun to have some more guinea pig stickers. I only have some customs that a friend made for me currently, so I thought that there would be no harm in having these. I think I have two sheets of these. Some of these are just going to be double ups, so bear with. Um, I also picked up the study guinea pigs. I had seen Anna from Planner Face using these quite a lot throughout fall, and I thought it was super cute. And again, this reminds me of my guinea pig who passed away, and I loved him, and he was very, very cute. So I thought it would be fun to have these. See what I mean? <laughs> I then picked up the ghost emojis. Again, in my head, I was kind of thinking I need to pick up some, like, themed stuff so that when it comes time to Halloween and stuff, I have stickers that can kind of go with the spreads a little bit better. So I thought it would be fun to have some little ghost emojis. I picked up some Easter deco. Again, Easter is approaching. 
not approaching. It's like four whole months away, but the stores are selling Easter chocolate already. So, I mean, me buying Easter stickers already don't feel too bad. I needed to stock up on my hair washing girls. I tend to use these quite a lot. So, I thought it was about time that I got a new sheet. I got some me party girls just to mark those days when I like go out and do stuff by myself or I sit at home and binge watch movies or TV by myself. Picked up some more takeaway girls, even though I shouldn't be and don't want to be eating more takeaway than I already do moving into 2023. It is always helpful to have these on hand. I picked up some more Christmas sweater girls. Not that I needed to. I think I do still have a sheet and a half of these, but again, it was Christmas or it was close to Christmas when I purchased, so I wanted to have them on hand. I even went as far as to order two different variations of them. Deary me. I picked up the side eye girls because a lot of the time during my working day I pull this face probably pull the face like twice twice or three times per day so again appropriate I picked up the haircut girls I recently had a haircut so I can actually use these to mark that which is good the donut party girls, again, very me. This can be like a kind of staying in eating donuts and birthday celebration. And just another fun way to mark having a birthday, I guess. Nap queen, again, I do love myself a nap. And again, I got them in both varieties. <laughs> I picked up the Rainbow Help Me I'm Old Girls. For anyone who doesn't know, I will be turning 35 next year. This very much embodies my attitude towards life <laughs> at the moment. Help me, I'm old. I hope that I don't have to use these, but I feel like I don't have enough of them on hand in the event that I ever need to use these. So I picked up the Rainbow Unwell Girls. In the spirit of Halloween, I also picked up some Halloween-y themed stickers. So I picked up Freddy, basic Freddy. So it's Freddy in his little sweater, loving himself some coffee. We have to love Freddy, like he's like the OG. I also picked up the pumpkin Frenchies. I do actually own a French bulldog. He's not this color. He's actually like a fawn hide. Eyed... Um, which essentially means he's white. He has splotches of fawn and like black on him. He's very cute. Um, but when I saw these, I thought they were super cute. So I actually picked up two of those. Don't know what I'm going to use them to mark, but I had to have them. I picked up the spooky laptop girls. Again, thinking ahead to Halloween next year where I want to be able to use more themed stickers. So I got those. I also picked up the This Is Fine Beetlejuice inspired stickers. I already have the This Is Fine in flames, but I thought having the like beetle cat would also be fun. I picked up the Sexy Killer because of course Scream, you cannot go past Ghostface. Scream is one of the OG like horror movies. So I did pick up two of them. Again, don't know how, why or when I'm going to use these. But I wanted to have them and I didn't want them to sell out like and I didn't have any so I just bought two. <laughs> uh, I also picked up the Frogger Lantern again for no rhyme or reason other than they are absolutely adorable. You have this cute little frog hanging out of a pumpkin. I don't know I can use it as like a Halloween countdown or something but again cute wanted purchase. I have the Spooky Cozy Day Girls. This is very much me on a standard weekend, so probably going to get a good use out of those. Spooky Anxiety Girls, again, don't want to have to use these, but it's always nice to have them in like a darker version or like a Halloween type version. I picked up some Christmas cooking girls. I figured that this would be a cute way of marking like making Christmas lunch or Christmas desserts. There wasn't a lot of Christmas items left when I went shopping. I was a little bit late to the party, but it's fine. I picked up what I could. As you can see, I picked up two of them. And then we are back to the start. Oh, okay. The pile seemed thicker than that. Um, but that is my very chonky 
very hefty order from Foxy. Okay, now the moment you've probably all been waiting for. Last but certainly not least, this is my 2023 planner. I do apologize that it is quite dark. I have my bedroom light on. I have the ring light on, which you can clearly see. Uh, but it is still quite dark and miserable outside. So I do apologize if you can't see this as well as you would like. But this is a Sadie's Sticker Vertical Dated Planner. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, so when I first started planning, I was using an Erin Condren Vertical Neutral Planner, which I used for, I think from 2016 through to 2020, 2020, 2021. And then in 2022, I used a Harriet Wright Designs, a vertical planner. The paper was buttery smooth. It was absolutely beautiful, but the coil was way too small. Um, and she had very thick, like plastic dividers, which in a sense was good, but because my planner is now full of stickers, it was so incredibly thick and like it literally got to a point where these covers were falling off the planner. So I figured that I would try the Sadie's Stickers Planner this year. Last year when I decided between the Harriet Wright Designs, it was either Harriet Wright Designs or Sadie's Stickers. So this year I figured I would try Sadie's Stickers. We will see how this one treats us and then obviously moving into other years, we will obviously make those decisions then. But this is the planner that I have gone with. I ummed and ahed for a very long time over what design I wanted. Um, it was a very close tie between the cute daisies and the terrazzo. Um, but I eventually decided on the daisies. I don't know why. That's just what I've gone with. Um, I did get the black coil. Um, again, I don't know why. But black coil is what I've lent towards for the last... I think the first three years of planning, I maybe used like gold or rose gold coils. And then I decided that black was the best because then when you like open it, it goes with every spread. Like you don't have to worry about like your foil choices mismatched against the coil, that sort of thing. Um, first things first, in terms of first impressions, this is a really thick, solid cover. Like I really like this. This is thicker than an Erin Condren, thicker than the Harriet Wright designs, which is great. I feel like it's I kept feeling like my Harriet Wright Designs one was going to fall off before I even had stickers in it. Whereas this one feels like totally unnecessary, but just to give you an idea of how non-flimsy it is. Um, the coil, firstly, it's not really black as much as it is like coated black. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but it's not like a true black. It's kind of like... It's like a plated black. So it's almost kind of like a, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's not like a true black. It's like a metal, a metal black, if that makes any sense at all. It is also very springy, which I mean, it's a coil. It's meant to be, there's supposed to be a little bit of give in it, but it does not feel as sturdy as the Erin Condren coil. It doesn't feel as sturdy as the Harriet Wright Designs coil. Whilst I did dislike the Harriet Wright Designs coil for the fact that it was too small for the pages, I think that this is a lot flimsier. So I do worry that this will be easily bent and misshapen. So we'll have to wait and see. But let's go ahead and actually have a quick look through the planner itself. So we will open her up. So you've just got the plain inside there. I mean, I could switch that out if I wanted to just have the plain cover. So we have... On the first page, we have our vellum. And then we move into our initial page. So we have here, this planner belongs to Sadie's Sticker Planner 7x9 2023. In terms of the paper, this paper is definitely more coarse, more porous. Definitely more an Erin Condren paper versus a Harriet Wright paper. For anyone who has used a Harriet Wright Designs paper, you will know that that paper is so buttery smooth. It is absolutely gorgeous to write on. I don't know how I would feel about writing on this paper because it is so porous. Very thick. I don't know if you can hear that. It's a very thick paper, very nice quality paper. 
but it is definitely porous. So I feel like writing on this wouldn't be as smooth as it would be writing in a Harriet Wright Designs. So definitely think texture more of Erin Condren. But the paper is a lot whiter than Erin Condren. As we flip through, the first thing that we open into is our 12 box. Is it 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, 12 boxes. I don't know if I will use these at all, uh, but a lot of people like to use these for birthdays or like, I don't know, pre-planning their months out, things like that. You then have your year at a glance. So you've got your 2023 page here. If you wanted to go through and mark in your key dates, put in those colored circles or highlight particular months or events, things like that, you can definitely do that. And then we also have the 2024 calendar at a glance as well. Then we have the dot grid over here, which again is the case in most planners now before we move into our monthly. So in terms of the monthly, this is not cardboard, it is not thick, it is not any different to any other page in the planner. So you do have your little tab here, so you've just got the paper and then it's like plastic. So the month tabs are protected. But this page isn't super thick, so it's not going to puff up as much as my Harry Wright designs did at the end. You also have your script, like your monthly script in the bottom corner there. So if you're someone who's happy to leave it plain like this, you know at a glance this is January. If you're someone who likes to decorate, you absolutely got so much room here to go in and put decorations, photos, or whatever you might like. As we turn over, we then turn straight into the monthly view. I am hoping to start using my monthly view in 2023. I have a bunch of monthly kits that I've collected from Planetface. To do that, I was going to do it in 2022, but then I fell behind and I just ran out of it. Whereas this year, I actually really consciously want to make an effort to do that. I kind of want to do it as a monthly reflection thing and kind of come back at the end of every month to reflect on the highlights of the month and like mark the highlights in each of the days. We will see what happens. Worst case scenario, it stays like this, which in my books is better than my Harriet Wright designs. My Harriet Wright designs was undated. So when you have this view open, you don't have any dates. Days aren't written. The month's not written. It's just like a blank, blank canvas. Um, so I much prefer this in that regard, because even if I don't get around to using the monthly view, I've at least got like the month at a glance there. And then we turn on through to what is going to be our monthly view. So this is the first week. This is actually the week that I'm in at the moment. So today is the 31st or New Year's Eve. And this is the view that I'm going to be working with moving into 2023. As always, whenever you change planners, adapting to the new view, to the new layout is going to be very, very interesting. Um, I'm kind of hoping it's easier in a way because I don't know if you can see, but there are actually dotted lines here. So that at least gives me an idea of where my glitter headers will go. Um, the bottom across here, I won't have to white out necessarily, depending on the kit format. It should very nicely just sit here. Um, if I don't have date headers, I've got the, like the dates and the date up the top. I also, depending on what I decide to do with my sidebar, you have the month written up here. So if I so choose that I just want to leave it like that, I can leave it like that, put some deco up the top here and then just have my full box here. Um, if not, very simple to white that out, just white that out, put something over the top here and Bob's your uncle. Although I did just realise if I was to use my paint splodges like I normally would, I don't know how well that's going to work because my paint splodge would sit up in this top corner, which means essentially it's going to sit over the top of that, which means I'm going to have like white out hanging out. So we're going to have to see what happens there. I don't know. It would be really easy to go back to how I used to plan and just stick my quote box here, leave December there. But then I would constantly be questioning because I would have a date cover here, which is higher than this. So I don't know. If you have any ideas of how I could do my corners or how you've been doing them in a Sadie's stickers planner, absolutely let me know. But this is the 
layout that I'm going to be working with. And then, <coughs> as you'll see, as soon as it changed it, although interesting because January is here, but it changes to January. We have enough weeks for the month. We get to the 29th and then we are back to, we move into February. We have the February view and we move through February. We always have that dot grid page to separate. Let me flick through just to see if there's anything at the back. Um, so if we flip on through to December, we've got our monthly view. We have, where do we finish? 24th. So that's going to be interesting because, oh no, it's not, mm, it is. So next year, or this year, 2023, Christmas is a Monday, New Year's is a Sunday. Interesting. And I don't even have the option to plan in this one. So that's good. It takes it takes the decision out for me. Um, so at the back, at the end of the planner, we just have a whole bunch of dot grid pages. So you can do whatever you want there. You can put your washi strips or your washi samples there, whatever you might like. And then at the very end, we just have like the plain page, the cover on the back. Voila. It is amazing to me how thin this looks because I'm so used to Harriet Wright designs. My planner is such a chunky girl. When I do my flip through, once my sticker kits come that I've been waiting on since October, which are actually four September spreads. Um, wait, what? Once the stickers come for my unfinished spreads that I ordered back in October, I will do a flip through video of my 2022 planner and you will see how thick she is. But this, it's always so nice to have, like this feels so thin, so light. It's amazing. But that's my planner for 2023. Let me know what planner you guys are using for 2023 in the comments below because I am genuinely interested in knowing what everyone has opted for. Um, but let me come back in a real quick second with all of our goodies displayed out, put out, organized, and we will wrap up the video. Okay, and minus the glare, there you have it. These are our goodies for this haul video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite haul was, what your favorite item from this haul was, or what your favorite kit was from the haul. I am so excited to put all of this away, to put all of this in use. I cannot wait to get started in my new planner. I am so incredibly excited. Um, for anyone who has stuck around this long, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. Um, even though you won't see this until 2023, I hope each and every one of you has a happy new year and that 2023 brings you everything that you have ever wanted and more. Um, but again, thank you all for watching. Love you all. See you all in 2023. Bye for now.